डियर स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ इकॉन थ्री सिक्स फाइव फार्म मैनेजमेंट प्रोडक्शन एंड रिसोर्स इकोनॉमिक्स टूडेज आवर टॉपिक इज अबाउट द बैलेंस शीट और नेटवर्थ स्टेटमेंट सो दिस इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन दिस कोर्स ऑफ फार्म मैनेजमेंट ओके नाउ फर्स्टली वी विल डिस्कस वॉट इज मीन माई बैलेंस शीट और द नेटवर्थ स्टेटमेंट सो the net worth statement or balance sheet shows the financial condition and stability of a business at a particular point of time what is balance sheet or what is net worth statement the statement which shows the financial condition and stability of a business at a particular point of time it is known as the net worth statement or balance sheet means the statement which shows the financial condition and stability of business at a particular period of time okay so net worth is shown as a as an excess of assets over liabilities net worth is shown as an excess of assets over liabilities okay that is the liabilities of the business to the farmer or farmers claim in the business liabilities are those means on the right hand side there are the assets of business and on the left hand side there are the liabilities of the business so why assets are on right hand side because that is what the business is worth assets means that is what the business is worth or these are the some profits of business okay in a, always keep in mind in a balance sheet assets are kept on the right hand side and liabilities are on the left hand side so on the left the liability liabilities that shows what the business owes what the business owes okay so this is about the balance sheet so here just keep in mind balance sheet shows the financial condition and stability of business at a particular period of time and here net worth means net worth shows the excess of assets over the liabilities now and also another thing assets are kept on the right hand side of balance sheet and liabilities are kept on the left hand side of balance sheet here in balance sheet we can calculate the total assets total liabilities also and owners equity or net worth of owner means total assets minus liabilities we will get the net worth or owners equity and last we calculate total liability and the owner equity okay so this is about the balance sheet now the net capital otherwise known as the capital balance net worth or equity is the balancing item so net worth or equity is the sum of what would remain to the owner what would remain to the owner or businessman if a business were sold and all the liabilities paid means whatever the farmer or the businessman he has to pay for others it is the liabilities of that business so what will be the net worth or equity so is the sum of what will remain to the owner after selling after selling his business to another guy or another person what he will remain means what would remains with him it is the net worth or equity if there were a net capital deficit instead of a surplus this would have to included on the asset side of to the balance and it would mean that the business is insolvent okay if there is net capital deficit means capital is limited of over the surplus this would to be included on the asset side to balance and it would mean that business was 
insolvent no now the details of assets asset side of the balance sheet show how the capital is being used means asset side or right hand side of balance sheet shows how the capital or investment is being used in the business and on the other hand means at the left hand side on the liability side the sources of that capital okay now net worth statement or balance sheet thus prepared for the farmer and not for his business okay so it shows whether the business is expanding or sinking what balance sheet shows whether the business is expanding or enlarging or the shrinking or means less down okay the business is said to be solvent when net worth or equity is greater than zero here keep in mind the sentence the business is said to be solvent when net worth or equity is greater than zero question may be for ask for objectives or mcq when the business will be solvent so your answer will be when the net worth or equity is greater than zero then the business is considered as solvent and when it is insolvent when the net capital deficit instead of surplus then the business is insolvent okay now analysis of net worth statement or ratio measures of balance sheet so there are three ratio measures means net capital ratio working ratio and the current ratio so net worth calculated shows only the absolute amounts by which total assets differ from total liabilities at a point of time means there are three measures of analyzing the net worth statement first net capital ratio working ratio and current ratio question may be asked for your semester end exam write down a short note on balance sheet or net worth statement okay firstly we have to write what is balance sheet or what it shows assets on right hand side liabilities on left hand side okay what is insolvent what is solvent okay either business net worth statement or balance sheet shows the business is expanding or shrinking so these are the some points and at the last you can write the different ratio measures for valuation or analysis of the balance sheet these are the three measures that is net capital ratio working ratio and current ratio now net capital ratio so it is measured means net capital ratio is measured to work out degree of financial safety over a period of time means to check either you are in a safe zone or in danger zone means either you are in profit or loss okay means it is measured to work out the degree of financial safety over a period of time so formula for calculating net capital ratio is equal to total assets divided by total liabilities what is formula for net capital ratio total assets divided by total liabilities now if the net capital ratio is higher the safer is the business if net capital ratio is higher your business is safer and less vulnerable to an unexpected drop in the value of its assets or losses so the net worth of two farmers may be the same but net capital ratio would be different okay always keep in mind the net worth for two farmers may be same but net capital ratio would be different because there is a different pattern of expenditure a different pattern of costing that's why the net worth of two farmers may be same but net capital ratio would be different because net capital ratio is calculated over total assets and total liabilities so which are the different for every farmer so here if net capital ratio is higher your business is same safe sorry now next working ratio so this measures means working ratio measures 
और एनालाइज द फाइनेंशियल सेफ्टी ऑफ बिजनेस ओवर एंड इमीडिएट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम ओवर एंड इमीडिएट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम एंड हियर नेट कैपिटल रेशियो मेजर्स द डिग्री ऑफ फाइनेंशियल सेफ्टी ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम मीन्स ओवर अ वन ईयर ओवर अ टू ईयर ओके बट इन वर्किंग रेशियो दिस मेजर्स द फाइनेंशियल सेफ्टी ऑफ बिजनेस ओवर अ इमीडिएट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम मीन्स ओवर अ करंट सो ओवर अ करंट पीरियड और इन अ करंट सिचुएशन वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द वर्किंग रेशियो If we have to analyze our business right now, what we will do? We will calculate the working ratio. Means working ratio is equal to sum of working and current assets divided by sum of medium term liabilities and current liabilities. So formula for working ratio: sum of working and current assets divided by sum of medium term liabilities and the current liabilities okay now last is about current ratio working ratio is different and current ratio is different the major it measures the degree of immediate immediate solvency current ratio measures the degree of immediate solvency so current ratio is equal to current assets divided by current liabilities so here the aspect of stability described in a net capital ratio relate to the long term business means stability is described by the net capital ratio in case of the long term business or long term investment however the business also has to survive the short run shorter run weathering the temporary stresses and strain that may be occur so an important major in this regard is the current ratio mean in case of the short run businesses current ratio is the important ratio or is the important major now the higher is the current ratio is the firm in a short run okay the higher the ratio is the firm in the short run because more likely it is to survive unexpected demands from creditors okay all these ratios can be compared over a time wider this ratio the better will be the financial position of the business means if all these ratios are wider or higher you are in a better position of your business so this is about the three ratios or this is about the balance sheet or net worth statement you can refer the book of vt raju economics of farm production and management and fundamentals of farm business management by zolan kapoor thank you